Hi everyone, welcome back to Steven Plays Starfield. Today, uh... Today, we're gonna look at this personal computer. <laughs> I just wanna see some of this stuff. Oh, there's a lot of text here. Mm, brief arc for the spaceport. Okay. Arrival, the protests. So, yeah, the UC was not, like, super happy that the House of Arun had an embassy here. Petitioning for the immediate shuttering of the embassy. But also, House of Arun, like, I don't know a whole lot about House of Arun, but I've known, I've learned enough like interacting with some of the different people here like in the city and just in the game at large that like they're not well liked okay dinner is this a test of my faith do you truly wish to plumb the depths of my loyalty Also, I can't read the word Roland without just thinking of my Roland. <sighs> okay, so basically this is just talking about um, the history of the embassy and how he is here. The embassy is effectively shuttered. House of Ruins leaders have ceased all communications with the United Colonies. Silence. No word from my people in months. Several attempts at contacting them, but I am uncertain if my messages are reaching Dazra at all. So this, this is the story. Like, whenever I asked him, I was like, why, are, why is there no one here? And he's like, that, we don't talk about that. And I'm like, okay, but this just tells, and this wasn't even locked. Spies... This was no diplomat, no neighborly knock on the door. This was a spy. They think me dead. The message or source simple request for information regarding the state of things in New Atlantis. House of Arun has contacted me at last. Interesting. Well, that better explains why there is no one else here. Uh, he was left. Storeroom card. I'm allowed to have all of these things. I've decided right now. Also, um, oh, that seems like a... Is that a pretty high number for an EM? The fire rate's slow. Yeah, I'll take it. Just a bunch of turrets in here. Mannequin. A Varun spacesuit. It's not very good, but it's worth $10,000. I'll take it. I can hold a lot of stuff now since we got the, uh, the one thing. This, oh, it's the spacesuit. We have a spacesuit that's like, your guns only weigh half as much as they used to. I'm like, I don't understand how that works, but okay. I appreciate it. There is, there is nothing else here. All right, let's boogie. There should be, I would hope, an easy way to leave. An easy... Oh. Mmm. No. Mmm. No. No. Oh, God. Oh, this is how I use in instigation. Diplomacy, instigation, intimidation, and manipulation are all social skills that you can activate while your scanner is up. Hover your cursor over the target, press A to bring up your social skills, select which skill you want to use. If you fail a social skill, your target will be immune to all future social skill attempts. Oh, so you have to do it in here. Interesting. I have considered putting... You know what? Let's do it. I have considered putting a skill point into floaty jump. Where floaty jump at? Which one? You? Boost jump 10 times while in combat. Using a boost pack expends less fuel. Okay. Let's do that. Because it's fun. I do like floaty jump. 
and I have extra skill points I'm not using. So now we can do a good floaty jump. Let's go back to the cabinet. There you are, hi. So the, <laughs> the folder is still in the chair. Captain, you're back sooner than... Oh, oh wait, did, did you actually succeed? With Radcliffe and Balmore. We're all in agreement. Code pieces from House Varun and the Free Star collected and ready to be deployed. So the old man was still lurking around in there. Fine work, Captain. And now, I've already arranged everything with the archival monitors. When you get down there, the UC monitor will give you instructions on how to deploy the codes. Follow them to the letter. Here, the UC code piece and an archival access card. The entrance is just on the other side of the plaza across from Mast. Absolute best behavior down there, all right? What am I gonna do? I'd start a, a war? Oh, hey, permanently reduces fuel needed for a grab jump by an additional 1%. Yay. All right, let's see. Back in, <laughs> slam at full speed into a brick wall. Back to the lobby. The Armistice oh. Archives. Another thing that we probably never would have come to see. At the Battle of Cheyenne, by the Free Star Collective's ragtag fleet, both sides decided the time had come to bring the colony war to an end. So the two parties came together to negotiate the terms of the armistice. Hey. Fleet sizes would be capped. Mechs and Xeno weapons outlawed, and all research related to those fields would be kept under lock and key in their own special archive. Till today. Which actually rests below our feet as we speak. Heading down there now. And while these new restrictions transformed the settled systems overnight, entire economies were upended with the flick of a pen. They also marked the start of something critical. Cooperation between the United Colonies and the Free Star Collective for the first time in decades. A pledge between the powers for a more harmonious future. Thank you for listening. Hi. There was a lot of debate as to where the archive should be built. It was a gesture of good faith from the Free Star Collective that it was built here. Yeah, I suppose so. Museum patron. Some Claude told me the other day he thought the colony war was the UC's fault. He's just lucky security was around, is all I'm saying. My team's better than their team. I've lived here all my life. It can be hard to tell, but the UC's changed a lot since the war. Never would have seen something like this place 20 years ago. Okay, this is a pretty small little spot. You know, I honestly expected this place to be a lot more. Rah, oh God! Rah, you see. <laughs> Maybe they learned their lesson. You know, I was recently touched by a ghost, and now sometimes I, I just disappear. <laughs> Let's go to the archives. We recall the cost of unfeathered war. We stand as the bulwark of peace. I feel like something belongs in here. They're both like, what are you doing? Sorry, I just... This definitely feels... Oh, this is perfect. It's gonna be our little secret. Secure area. These probably go to the same place you got your clearances good i suppose i do oh this is neat captain we've been expecting you please approach the monitoring station and we will go over the rules i do like the environments i feel like bethesda did a pretty good job with the environments sometimes the environments are too big <laughs> But on, on the whole, I'm like, yeah, this, this, this is cool. There's no one working here, though. It's just a bunch of chairs. Okay, oh. There's a part of me that's like, I can open this door, but do I want to get shot? Probably not. Wait, what did you ask me to do? You just want me to go over here? 
Oh, this is where you are. Welcome, Captain, to the archives. To proceed, you will need to deposit your codes into the three corresponding receptacles. Once they are verified, I will open the door. Your data resides in Unit 18. You will not be able to access any of the other units. Once you've collected your data, return to the entrance. You may insert the first of the archival codes when you're ready to begin. Okay. But it's not cool if I, like, just come in. Because, like, what y'all got back there? <laughs> what's, what's, what's going on? What's going on in there? United Colonies. House of... The House of Arun is the one that's open. Because they're like, yeah, whatever. And then this is the Free Star. I understand. Free Star Access Center. And Sam Co is allowed to also be in here because he's allowed to be in here. There's the archives. Cool. We are here. All right. Excuse me. We got it. This is what we came for. And we're not allowed to access anything else anyway. So we couldn't start trouble if, even if we wanted. Go ahead and close this door. Sam, just wait in there for a sec. Go ahead and close this door. It, it's, uh, we're done. This is this a fire alarm? So, that's it. We're good. I guess that's it. Okay. I don't do this very often. This is very out of character for me. However. <sighs> However. I just want to know what happens. I will I will reload if things go bad, but I'm like why can't we go in here? Mox must hate you. Um we traditionally do this all from the other <laughs> side of the glass. <laughs> Me, jumping onto the other side of the counter at Burger King. I would like to place my order. Traditionally, we do this on the other side of the counter. Oh, sorry, I didn't mean to get my gun out. <laughs> Tap to my trigger. Like, this is great. Like, I just, I picked this incredibly difficult door, and I'm like, hi, I'm in here now. And they're like, usually, that's not what we do. Why are you even here? No chit-chat on duty. Why are you even here? Where does this go? The no one cares. Nobody cares. You've got to be kidding me. Nobody cares that I'm here at all. I'm in their break room. Like, so, quick thing though. This is cool. I love that this entire area has like, oh yeah, well we have like a break room. There's probably a toilet in here at some somewhere. There's, like, living quarters. There is no reason to ever be back here. You are coming to the archives probably one time in the game to do this? There's no reason you'd ever need to be back here, but it's it's an entire environment that you can explore. I do like that. I don't need that hat. Like, this is, this is neat. Like, all the stuff is back here. That's a fine dining floor. There's probably not really anything of interest because, again, you, you're not supposed to be back here. But I'm always amused and impressed at things like this in-game, so... Let's see. You're doing a great job. This is shared Freestar UC territory, so act accordingly. Your head is on a swivel. 
And that is scary. Does this go down into the free star side? I bet it does. <laughs> sure does. <clears throat> I didn't even get to talk to you. You can't be spoken to, can you? Nope. Like, if that doesn't tell you that you're not supposed to be back here, like, I don't know what does. This is great. Keep your nose clean. Last thing I want is to charge you for a DP, an A and B, a B and E, or, heaven forbid, an MS. But at least then we wouldn't have to worry about a VOP. <laughs> Am I right? I'll do my best. Uh, okay. Well, this is, this is nothing. But I'm terribly amused that I was <laughs> not in trouble for coming up here. And you know what? I gotta tell you, I kind of suspected that would be the case. I kind of suspected that would be the case. I feel like there was going to be more... They, they would they would make it clear if you really couldn't go into a place. Or maybe they would put like a... Like a you know how they have the red symbol for stealing? Like you can't uh, steal? They might... They, do they put that on doors? Maybe they do, and I don't remember. Anyway, time to run all the way back. You know, I went to chef school. This ain't exactly where I saw myself. I don't have any food, do I? I was like, I might have some food. Wait, no, hold on. Oh, I have toast. <laughs> you know what? I've been holding on to this for a long time, and... I think you would appreciate this more than me. Let me just... Just trying to... Yeah? <laughs> I ate the toast off the floor. All right. Yes? What? There you are. Hi. Captain? Deputy told me what went down. Impressive work. Thank you. Captain, if you'd be willing to transfer the documents to the Major, she and I have been discussing what comes next. Sure, yeah. Absolutely. Time for us to start getting some real answers. And figure out if we've been asking the right questions. So whenever you're ready. Um. Ooh, yeah. I made a promise. Hadrian, can you assure me this data will be used for good? I... Yes. It will be. Percival and I have done our damage. This... This is us starting to put some things right. So with the data out of the way, we've been discussing where exactly this work's getting done. The Red Devil's headquarters on Mars, back where you found Percival, seemed the natural spot. Already has the equipment, the safety measures, Though, it sounded like the deputy had a few more things she needed to discuss with you first. Indeed. The most important of which is getting you your citizenship. Oh, yeah! Then I guess we'll see you on Mars. Captain, if you'll follow me. Now I can buy... an apartment? I suppose. Man, y'all are walking real close. <laughs> like, really close. Like, walking onto her feet. Hello. It's <laughs> great. Oh, yeah, I was like, wait, where's my toast? I forgot I ate it. I'll find more toast at some point. how we're really not uh, not in a hurry to get me my citizenship. Oh my god, are you going to throw me off a building? Why are we up here? Is this how you get your citizenship? Alright, Captain. Are you ready to become a citizen of the United Colonies? Um, yeah. <laughs> Remind me again why I'd want to do that? Well, only citizens can own property in New Atlantis. 
We also pay a discounted rate at any United Colonies merchant. And all citizens receive an ample credit disbursement upon joining. All right, let's find out what ample means. I'm ready. Good. This isn't the only item we need to discuss, so I'll give you the short version. Please raise your hand. Captain, through your actions today and in days past, you have earned your place among the United Colonies. Through service, bravery, strength, and upholding of the mutual good. Will you carry and cultivate these values for as long as you remain a citizen? I will. And then, Captain, I'm pleased to welcome you into the United Colonies as a full citizen. Here, your official ID and your citizenship dispensation. We've also let the Aphelion Realty Office out in the plaza know you're approved to purchase property. Now, the other item we needed to discuss. There's a member of the UC who's asked to speak to you, but this person is in a sensitive position. Normally, we wouldn't even consider something like this, but we think this person has information that could prove useful in dealing with the Terramorphs, and they've stated they'll only share it with you. They asked for you by name. Hmm. So I need your agreement that everything you're about to see is kept in the strictest confidence. You can tell no one. Can you agree to these terms? <sighs> Who? <laughs> I'm sorry. I can't share any more without your word. Do I have it? I don't... I don't know if I can agree to that. I understand this puts you in a strange position, but this information is too sensitive to share without your agreement. Can I count on you to keep this between just you and I? <sighs> sure. Let's hope it never comes to that. Head to the elevator. You're going to subsection 7. I'll make sure you're cleared for access by the time you get there. No, no, whoa, 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 whoa. Don't, don't back up so quick. Careful. Hey, Sam. You don't take fall damage if you use your boost pack. Can I get... Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, I can get up here. I am on top of the world. I haven't had a view like this yet. This is cool. We got a bit of a view when we were at that, like, dam or whatever it was. But to actually be up here and look around is... Oh my god, you did it. Well... Proud of you, honey. Please be careful. Please be careful. Because I don't trust you walking. That's like beyond... Your abilities, I think. Yeah, this is neat. Like, you can see the the spaceport and everything. And the other time we were up in the air, we were looking at stuff out there, but we couldn't really conclude whether it was real. Like, even though we can see it, like, is it actually there? If we bother to go out there, will it be there? Like, we don't know. And it's true. Like, I don't know. <laughs> that was a hell of a thing to see. <laughs> Chaz says, billion story skyscraper seems unnecessary when there's gigantic empty lots like half a mile away. It's true. I'm not sure why we built this so big. Yeah. Um, okay. Just to, just to prove. I'm going to do a quick save. That's water, right? I'm safe. What? The hell? <laughs> so I jumped in the water. And, um... <laughs> now I'm in the water. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna be honest. 
now that I've come to this point, I am like just like a tiny little bit curious. It's like a little bit curious about the stuff in the distance. I've never been this far. I know I need to go to subsection seven, but like, what if like real quick, we just see, cause we've never been this far. Earlier, like a few episodes or something ago, when I was standing on the, the bridge looking out at all this, I was like, it would take an hour to get over there. And I'm like, oh, actually it won't. It's gonna take like five minutes. <laughs> There's like a tower or something that I had seen. I can see a tower in the background. What is that? Walking through here now, this feels like a complete, this feels like a different video game. There's a bird? There's a bird! And another thing! I mean, I know that there's life, like, out here. The suit came on. Okay, so here is, this is one of the things that we saw. And it's not like a facility we can, like, go into. We are very close to that tower. There's a building! This is the same, like, this... Autonomous farm. With a... A friend. We're gonna call him a friend. I'm not gonna shoot them unless they... Do me a harm. But I don't think they're gonna do me a harm. No, we're chilling. We're chilling together. Oh, we are not chilling together anymore. Got another one! This is an autonomous farm. This is a, just a thing that you can go up. Kind kind of. A little bit. What's in here? Med pack. Alright, let's uh let's take a look at this ship, because there is a ship. Oh, you can't Oh yeah, you can. What? <laughs> I was stuck on the tiny lip. The rail star. Am I gonna get in trouble for everything's going on a ship? Now I'm okay, I'm too deep into this. I'm doing this. I'm gonna go on this ship, but I'm saving the game in case something goes bad. I just am like looking around now. I'm like, where am I? Kill the crew or leave the ship. I'm not gonna kill no crew. No one deserves to die. I was just looking around. Where I'm gonna go up. I mean, if it's a pirate ship... Howdy. Oh, this is like a... Not a pirate ship. Just some dude. Pardon? Excuse me. You must secure the ship before taking it over. I don't wanna... I don't, I don't really have a desire to take over anyone's stuff. Howdy. This is wild. I'm not in trouble! I'm not in trouble for doing anything. I'm I'm on here and they're like, it's fine. <sighs> okay. <laughs> what a weird <laughs> Like, oh, it's fine if you're here. You're you're allowed on our ship. Alright. I gotta go back to autonomous you never farm. Know what you'll find. This place is <sighs> So real quick, um, no, hold on. I can do this with this. Surface map, that's what I want. So I think I might be able to like warp to this now. It's a warp spot. Huh. So if I have this right, I know that in Starfield, it, it, it's sections of the map, right? So you can't just see something in the distance and get to it. Like, it's sections of the map. And I think that is still what's happening. This is a section. It's just the section is very large. Because if we look at the section, there are boundaries, right? So this is the boundary. It's just, it's big because most of what's happening is taking place in the city, and the city is only right here. If you escape that, there's other things here. 
That's neat. That's kind of neat. I'm not going to reload. I'm just going to fast travel. So if I want to go back to Autonomous Farm at any point, I can. Why would I want to? I won't want to. But if I want to, then I can. All right, where's the subsection set? <laughs> Other things is carrying a lot of water for Autonomous Farm. You're not wrong. It's uh not... It's, it's not that it was terribly exciting or interesting, but in a world where we've been doing, like, mission, 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 getting a chance of, like, some level of exploration, that was neat. Also, what, what is going on with these cups? Ghosts. Ghosts. There's so this is where the UC hides all the scary shit they're doing. What I'd give to have all the rangers with me right now. I mean, I'm a ranger. Let's see. Logging authorized entry. Unsealing access. You may proceed down the corridor. But there are no additional visitors permitted. Your friend's gonna have to wait out here. Ah. Uh, well, you'll have to tell me all about it later. But they let Sam into the archives. Is this another situ- oh yeah. Oh, this is- so this is inaccessible. So, like, if they want to make a door inaccessible, they can. They put a master level lock on that other one. It's wild. Welcome, Captain. Please, come down and approach the intercom. You and I should chat. These environments are all gigantic. Like, they're all so big. President Abeyo was kind enough to give me a few files to peruse. Quite the series of accomplishments you've managed. But now you face a foe unlike any other. An invisible enemy lurking in the shadows. You're going to need all the help you can get, which is why I hoped we could speak. Do you know who I am? Uh, um... Uh, I'd say you're someone pretty important, or dangerous. Perceptive. I like that. I'm Francois Sanon, but most know me as Vevictus. I was an admiral during the Colony War. One of its great villains if you believe the slates. I was to be executed for my crimes, but the previous regime deemed me too valuable to simply discard. So they put me here, a sacrifice on the altar of peace. Even my death served the colonies. <laughs> I don't want to... You see faked your death then? One final act of rebellion by the leadership that lost the colony war. The trial was authentic. I faced tribunal with dignity, but my execution staged. A lethal injection that was anything but. The cabinet at the time, long gone now, wished to keep me on as an advisor. And considering the other option, I was in no place to refuse, so I elected to trade my freedom for my continued existence. But such is the life of a soldier. Definitely one of the chattier ghosts I've met, except uh, about what you actually want. I want to help you and my progeny Hadrian prevent more attacks. Though I am curious, has she shared with you the nature of our... Little family. She told me she's your clone. Uh, did she? So willing to trust Hadrian. I never did succeed in driving that out of her. Our relationship has always been a challenging one. The Major was born to become a great leader, carry on the legacy I established, and was given all the finest training to support it. And she excelled. But the universe 
cut all that short. Now, though, it's placed even more crucial work in front of the two of you, and I think I have a part to play in helping you accomplish what you've set out to do. <laughs> Can you tell me more about this cloning program? It was an attempt by the United Colonies to solidify its own legacy. Forging a new generation of great leaders. They were raised by adoptive families made up of scholars and tacticians. Trained at the United Colonies' greatest scientific and military academies. Displayed incredible promise. But by the time the colony war came to a close, there was only Hadrian. But that's ancient history now. You have much more pressing matters at hand, with which I can help. I don't know why I need to see you. Like, Hadrian and I are, are doing just fine on our own? I'd ask you at least hear me out. After some long years earning the trust of this current regime, the UC has been permitting me to work alongside one of their... recovery teams, helping them gather intelligence on... locate and organize scenarios to lure in some of the criminals that evaded justice after the colony war. With quite a few successes, I might add. But in the process, I managed to find something else. The names and locations of Hadrian and Percival's old research team. Valuable manpower for the effort you're about to embark on. I'll tell you where they are. But in exchange, I need something dealt with. <laughs> Not sure I like the sound of this. One task. That's all I require. There is a former colleague of mine, a man by the name of Dr. Reginald Orlaise. Like myself and Hadrian, he was involved in some of the United Colonies' more problematic lines of research. Mech weapons were his specialty. If it dealt death, he could make a deal more. When the colony war ended, he fled, refusing to face tribunal and has continued to peddle his skills to the highest bidder to this day. But I finally found him. I want you to track him down and deal with him. However you're able, I'm not expecting he'll come quietly. Bring me evidence that the job's done, and I'll tell you what I know. How do I know you're not asking me to kill an innocent man? Speak to Deputy McIntyre. I'm sure she'd be happy to hear that someone might be tying up this loose end at long last. Though I would ask you, do not make the mistake of confusing me for a simple cutthroat. How about I arrest him and turn him over to the UC? You can certainly try, but the man's been out there 20 years. He's likely gone feral by now. Easier for all if you simply blow up his ship and be done with it. I'm not killing anyone, but if he's actually as bad as you claim, I'll consider bringing him to justice. If that's what you require to sleep at night, so be it. According to my information, he's been hiding around the world of Etheria. Wolf system. There is a star station in the vicinity. The Den. The head of the local vanguard, one Captain Marquez, should be able to help you find our... <laughs> find our... Okay. Well, that was interesting. Um, also, that's not optional. Like, doing this is required, because if we're going to proceed, all of those dialogue options, we're going to the same thing. So we can't talk our way out of this. We have to do whatever this is. And we will do that next time. Thanks for watching. See you next time for more Stephen Plays Starfield.